Hi, I'm James from CleverTouch. Today, I'm going to be speaking more about the launcher side of the interactive touchscreens. Now, one of the things that we did in a previous video is we assigned this launcher to replace the more traditional UX Pro interface that you might be used to. What you might want to do is go a step further than that, and you might want to start creating individual user profiles so that when that person walks into the room, they can log into their profile using the username and password, and it gives them a more specific interface designed for their needs. So rather than having all of these apps, they might just want PowerPoint or they might just want Word instead. So you can specifically design that so that when that person walks in, it's ready to go with only the apps that they want and nothing else to confuse matters. So as we said in the first video, make sure that your account, your, your screen is on the Clever Live account. Make sure you've got Clever Launcher installed. Then the next step is to go to your laptop and log into that Clever Live account. Once you're logged in, if you click on the top logo, you will see that there is a users part here. Click into the user. You can then create as many users as you want. This is completely unlimited. So we can choose a name, the organization name, and username, their email address, and a password. What it will eventually start to look like is what I've got here with loads of individual users. So what I can do is go a step further than that, and say, for example, I was looking at mine here. I can scroll along past the multifactor authentication and the user profile part to assign launcher. So for myself, if I wanted to assign a launcher, I might want to assign the Google launcher. So I press save. Now, if I was to log in, the launcher that I've got is Google. And again, I would repeat that process for everybody by going on, making sure they've got a user profile like that, and then going on to the launcher part and choosing a launcher for them as well. So they might want the education one. Once you've done that and you've created it, what we now need to do is go to the Screens tab, click on the screen itself. So in this case, I know it's the 75-inch UX Pro. Press the Edit button. Then press on Advanced. So once we're in Advanced, what we're going to do is tick this multi-user part. That essentially means that we can have more than one person logging in and, as we said earlier, allows them to choose their own desktop. So choose multi-user, press save, and then what you'll see if I watch the front now is the screen's updating. So essentially what this is now doing is it's bringing up a login page for me to go in. So if I type my username in there, and then my password, and press login, what this will now do is log into my specific user profile. Now, what it has to do every single time is it does have to install the applications that we've got in the background, so I've got to wait for that to finish before I can go. But as you can see here while it's loading in, instead of having the other desktop that we had before, we've still got the same inputs because I'm still in the same organization. I still want to make sure that they're either using HDMI or USB-C. But this time I've got a variety of whiteboards that I can potentially use. I've got some files, and then there is another app that's going to install if we are patient. So you can see there, now we've got Chrome as well. That's it. So I know that the way that I work is via whiteboards and via Chrome and maybe showing some files, whereas somebody else, they might log in and do something extra. So what you can do from that is you can go up into this top corner here. You can log out, and as you can see, the apps and stuff will be deleted. So we're going to press yes, and then it's ready for the next person to log in. Now either... I can log in again like this, or we can go to the new user part, and then somebody else can log in. One thing also to bear in mind is if you did have a numerical password and you didn't want somebody to you know, watch as I just did there as to what you want to log in, you can utilize the remote control and utilize the, the buttons there. So if you do need any more information or you need any more assistance setting this up, please let us know and we can, we can arrange a call or a demonstration to show you. Thank you.